black wellness is critical to black liberation right black history talks about our contributions to you know society to the world to the u.s specifically but what is also significant is our contribution to democracy, our contribution to freedom and equity and equality. We have been at the forefront. There's no other group of people I feel very safe in saying that who have been the forerunners of freedom fighters for equality, for justice, for us actualizing what these founding fathers ideals were for humans. We have been at the front of that, pursuing that for ourselves specifically and for all more broadly, for other marginalized groups, for the queer folks, disabled folks, for people who have immigrated here. We have been championing those causes. And we think about black liberation often, but that black liberation often, most certainly, I'm sorry, involves wellness. Because why are we trying to be free if we're not gonna be well? So we want that. So to me, black wellness is critical to black, liberation and that definition is very clear it's to be free it is a destination where we are collectively healing healing is the key right because we think about all these trailblazers and we think about all of their contributions and all that they've overcome to contribute to the society but as a clinician i think about all they endured and i think about all the trauma and i think about the intergenerational trauma and i think about the patterns that were passed down and i know that we've gotten here because of their survival but i also know we've gotten here with much to heal and so when we think about ourselves getting to this place where we are free to move as our authentic selves and pursue whatever version of ourselves we desire, that involves collective healing. So I want us to think about black, well, black history as black wellness because we are collectively healing in this space of black liberation, operating as our most authentic selves, free of oppressive structures and anti-black racism. It is the capacity to truly thrive. And you know, I'll use something some simple and benign like hair, right? If your hair has all these dead ends, split ends, you've colored it so much, it's eaten up the, the healthy hair you have, these split ends, your hair is not gonna grow. And if it is grow, it's gonna grow with damage. Okay? It's not that it's not going to continue to do what it was created to do, but it is going to have some damage and that damage is going to stifle it. It's when you begin to kind of prune away and cut away and actually attend to the parts of your hair that have been damaged, where you're going to really see it grow and thrive and be its best version. And that's what we want for ourselves this Black History Month as we are pursuing Black wellness. Because I do believe when we do that, we are then truly a living reality of our ancestors' wildest dreams. They could only dream of wellness and we have an opportunity to pursue it.